I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're doing it, folks. We're reviewing a Class B. Not only that, the king of all Class Bs. This is the 2020 Winnebago Bolt Model 70K. We are gonna take a look. Well, I don't know how we're gonna take a look. So normally I'd say we take a look at the outside then inside, then we're gonna review it. Um, but it, it's so small. We're just kind of gonna kind of look at everything at one time. We're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna wing it because we don't do Class B much. Super excited to show it to you. And then this has the new Mercedes chassis with the adaptive crew con cruise control. So we're gonna drive it when we're all done. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today, believe it, folks, we're <laughs> doing it. This is Andrea. This is unbelievable that we're reviewing a Class B. Uh, super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going good. You guys, I'm super excited. The first time Matt and I have ever reviewed a Class B together. So, yep, enjoy it. It's happening. <laughs> Unbelievable. Listen, we've gotten hundreds. We've gotten thousands of emails. Matt, van life, hashtag, do a van. I'm like, I hate vans. Personally, I like bigger motorhomes. I like Class Bs, guys. All right. Well, <laughs> listen, we're just going to get started. And, Andrea, there's no better one to get started to debut our B series on the show than this all new Winnebago Bolt. Now Winnebago Bolt is their top of the line Class B motorhome. And Bolt, what that means is, this is uh, like an all electric coach, there's no generator. It's it's completely self-sufficient off solar. The, and it's the best insulated uh, Class B out there. This is good for the crazy people who wanna live in a B. And because it's four seasons, it's their best insulated model. Not only that, how much solar and everything with the Volta start. I'll show you guys a little bit of that on the inside. I mean, this unit's running right now with the air conditioning on. You can't, can't even hear, hear it. it. It's good for city parking, and the AC's running completely off battery. Super excited. So perfect I'll, for boondocking, right? Yes, yes. Bo boondocking off the gridding, all that van life stuff. So right up here, this is powered. This is on a Mercedes 3500 Sprinter, and this has the new chassis, okay? It's a six uh, Mercedes V6, 188 horsepower chassis, and this is the new one and improved. And how you can tell is with a 10 inch screen on the inside, this has the adaptive cruise control, the lane assist, the memory seats, every single luxury that comes in a Mercedes Benz, this has. Sees so to have these nice LED lights when um, raindrops hit your windshield, the wipers wipe for you. Wow. I mean, talk about premium. You see these lights here? When you're going uh, lower than 25 miles per hour and you make a turn, these lights light up real bright so you can see if anybody's in front of you. When it comes to class and sophistication, this is it. And when you come down to Central Florida to buy one of these, if you come during love bug season, look at this. You can clean your windshield like that. Wow. Very cool. But you can see that's your camera there. Um, it's for your lane assist, collision mitigation, and it will tell you the speed limit. Uh, I drove one of these and I was texting while driving and then it got me back in my lane. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, you know, it got me back in my lane. It was so weird driving it and it, you know, it, it takes a minute to get used to but total safety factor, I love that. Coming down the side, Andrea, look at this beautiful color. I like it. So last year's model, well this is still 2020, but it's 2020 part two. 2020 part ones had like a silver, a white, and a black. New to this color, we have this cream color, which I think looks fantastic. And we have another one in the back that's like a, what color would you call that? It was that? like a really slate cool blue. blue, like a slate cool blue. blue. Here's a picture of it, ding! And it's just really awesome. So many different options and varieties. Check out these tires. These are the Continental, Andrea. The tire size, they are, I can't see them. LT215-85 R16 and has the beautiful Alcoa rims. You have a nice running board right there. 
power awning up there, and then when you want to enter your motorhome, everything about this is all electric. Wow. You see that? That's super nice. Multi fair, but look, we got this nice power awning, the carefree awning. That is super cool. All that's coming out, Andrea. We don't want bugs to get inside. So no. Look at this. Nice. Look at that. So when you're doing your thing, you can um have a screen door right here, and you can camp. So. I talked to somebody the other day, and, and here's what van life is. Van life isn't camping on the inside of the RV, it's camping outside of the RV, but having some indoor accessible stuff. So that's very cool, because you're out to nature, you're at Yellowstone, you want to feel the breeze, it's just very nice. And then here's the nice awning, with LED lights, and a wind sensor. So what that means... Up. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Here you go. I untucked my shirt. That's great. But yeah, just like that with a little bit of wind, it will automatically retract itself back in. That's awesome. I really like the step on here. Yeah, nice step and everything. All right. And then check this out. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's very cool. Finishing up with the outside. This unit has a ton of solar, but what's better than a ton of solar? Even more solar, right there. You got your solar right there, little power on the outside, TV for a coax, and power right there. Awesome. Coming around the back, whoop. Right here, here's your black tank flush. I wanna comment on the bolt sign. That's pretty bad, guys. Pretty bad? You mean pretty good? No, pretty bad like good. Ba it's so bad it's good. Yeah, it's like, you know, awesome. Coming around the back, you have a 5,000 pound hitch. Now Mercedes does not say you can tow 5,000 pounds. They say you, get, you can tow 4,300 pounds. Right here, you have a propane quick connect. I love that for a grill. You have your backup camera right there. Also, you have a ladder to get up on the roof. Let's go up there and take a look. You know, Matt, I feel, Pretty confident about this ladder. Yeah. <laughs> not nervous. Up here on this roof, you can see there's not one, but there's two solar panels, folks. This is two combined 230 watts of solar. That's insane. We've had this thing parked on our lot for like a week now. Nobody had to charge the batteries. I put it on and it was still at like 80%. Super awesome. Listen to the air conditioning unit. It's on right now. That's insane. Right up there, you have a max air cover. And you do have a King Air digital antenna. And look at this. I even like these metal struts and supports. It's just very, very nice. Now that's my kind of ladder. Well, listen, it's, oh, that's a sturdy ladder and I really do like that. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's goal? Take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So let's look right here. We're going to ignore this part. Okay. okay. Right here. Oh, okay. By the way, I love that. Look yeah. at that. That looks like class. You know, when you need it, you have an outdoor shower. You have this adjustable shelving yeah. and stuff. Probably for you to place your sewer hose right there, I would imagine. Your water pump, your light switch. Oh. Ooh. Light switch right there. Um, USB and everything, power all right here. And look, I like how it's separated like this because when you take your shower in here, it's not gonna get wet, you know? It's sealed off by the wall. Very nice. I like that a lot, Matt. Yeah. And it does give you a tiny bit of storage in there, which a lot of bathrooms in the back don't. Correct. And check out these. These are cute. You got little cubbies on the doors. Yep. Well, so for this motorhome, there's absolutely no storage. Uh, so they got to make cubbies out of everything. Here's your potable water fill, 30 amp cable hookup and everything. And then check this out, y'all. This is where you dump your black and gray tank. What makes this a true Four Seasons Class B is that these valves and the heating tanks and everything are fully enclosed. This is one of, it's definitely Winnebago's best insulated Class Bs. 
and one of the true best class B's for true Four Seasons camping. Now with that said, Four Seasons is always said with an asterisk. You know, if you go up to Minnesota in the winter, I don't care what you have, it's gonna get cold. But you know, re really good for um, negative, not negative, but under 32 degree temperature. Right here, talking about being compact. It's the Truma Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater. This is one of their most compact models, which again, is great. Every square inch you can save with stuff like this is more square inches of stuff and knickknack paddy wax that you can put in this RV. <laughs> knickknack paddy wax. Well, you, you need as much storage as you can. And There's your compact. city fill right there. And then right down here is the propane tank. I believe that is a 66 pound propane tank but I'm I'm not 100% sure. I kind of forgot. But don't worry. We have all the specifications about this motorhome. Everything. Lengths, tank sizes, widths, drivability, the measurements of this motorhome down in the description below. Also right here. Bing! For everybody who is watching on television. All right. I am well, so Andrea, excited. <laughs> the outside of this motorhome looks great. But it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Dang damn it. Should we do that again? No. We'll leave that in there. Trust me. That was user error, not Winnebago error. <laughs> <laughs> All Open right, Andrea. Screen. Thank you. Get on in there. Oh wow. Oh, it feels nice in here, Matt. I can't believe how quiet the air conditioner is. You can't even hear it from oh, the outside. Snap, oh, it feels nice in here. Look at this. Oh, it zips from the outside too. No, 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 it zips, right? So it's fully enclosed. But look, if I want to come in, I grab from the side, come in. Oh, it has magnets. That is awesome. so cool. Here, here, give me that, give me that. Give me the camera. I want to show people that. So look, you guys ready? That's great. That, that is so cool. Let me do my walk through. All right. All right, guys, this is it. This is what it's like all the time. So you can see plenty of space, nice and cool in here. Here's your bathroom, your wet bath. And here we go. Great. Now, since there's no slide outs, I, I, I don't have a favor to ask, but I do have a favor <laughs> to ask everybody. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Winnebago Bolt and three things you don't like about it. This is our very first Class B review and we need a lot of comments and support letting us know if you guys want to see more class b's let us know if you want to see more class b's also when, when i go over the price um my boss has set aside special pricing for um for the celebration of me doing a class b video so the more comments the more th this feedback feedback the more special price promotions we can do on this unit so super excited let's get started let's get started okay over here wow okay so you ready for this mercedes push button very nice this has absolutely everything watch this hey mercedes come on now hey mercedes she doesn't listen to me, babe. Neither do you. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> hey, Mercedes. How can I help you? What is the weather today? Date, July 10th, 2020. All right, that works for me. <laughs> you have your auto, um, not auto leveling, your lane assist, cruise control. Well, again, we're going to drive this one at the end of the video, so I don't want to spoil some things, but it's very nice. Nice carbon fiber. Uh, Andrea, would you like to sit in oh, the... Oh, I would love to. Yep. Oh my gosh. Now the seat's a little high up. Oh! Now, now that's the memory seats right there. If you want to take your finger no, up there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. nice. And then and... you can move it back some. Very oh, nice. Very nice, guys. What's this here? Um, it's a thing to make the leg come out some. Oh, okay. We don't need to worry about that. But We're you know small. what? This is really comfortable. My goodness. I love it, you guys. Yep. And you know what? Hold this. I don't feel cramps. Yep. Which mm. is normally surprising. Oh, thank you, sir. No, no, no. I'm going to turn the seat around. If you oh, okay. Want. 
Yep, we got to kind of maneuver funny here. All right. Okay, so turn the seat around. You want to, if, if you want to stand right there. You got to pull it all the way up. No, so all right. actually, I'm so sorry. Take the camera right here. Very good. You do like this. Okay. And now if you back up, the, all the way back, normal. It's very easy. Okay. This is what, this one thing I love about the Mercedes. A lot of times these swivel seats, they're 10 step processes. This, I pull that. Oh, wow. And I spin it around. That was super easy. Super easy. And Matt, look at that. Yes, ma'am. Take a seat there, let's see it. So that's perfect for people that need a office or place to do their work. Yep. Nice. Dinner table, office, like, I like this. Look, look I'm a little short. <laughs> but the chair is super comfortable. Yep. Oh, there see? you go. Oh my goodness, wow. Then, I guess, yep, <laughs> 10 step process on the driver's seat, but it's okay. I love the ambiance in here. Yep, so the driver's seat up here swivels, and then check this out. We have another Okay. Wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. Little office, you know. I, I'm I'm a little tight, but Matt, you know, you get this thing moving. This is back. something we need. No. <laughs> no. So, so here's why I'm saying no. Um, because as this is for the person who wants tiny. I like small. I don't like tiny. And um, this is for the stealth camper. Which we're, we're not going to have a problem. We're going to be going to campgrounds and stuff. This is or, for people who off grid. Off grid, stealth, city camp. We're, we're, we're going camping for work. We're going to be staying at, at General RV in Jacksonville, General RV in Tampa, staying the night in the parking lot. So we don't need to worry about off the grid. But it's very cool. The seats are very comfortable and it's just very nice. Okay, so check this out. Right up here, you can push that button and the door opens automatically. So let me show you what's going on up here, Andrea. This is the Volta energy system, okay? I gotta get my phone out for this one because there's a lot of hard facts about this and I wanna make sure that it is 100% right. The batteries are all lithium, they're, they're all standard. They're all upgraded lithium batteries. It gives you 11,600 watt hours. There's a 3,600 watt inverter on this, all standard to make it so the air conditioning can run just off of batteries. There is no generator, but it does have a second alternator under the hood. So if the batteries do run too low and the solar isn't charging it enough, the and uh, there's a feature where that will kick on to help restart the batteries. And again, 230 watts of solar. This is insane. This unit, again, we've had it for a week. It hasn't been on and running. But it was at 80%, you know, and we've had it for a week, a week and a half or two. Um, and then when I came in, I just pushed that button and then we were good to go. So Andrea, why yes. don't you show everybody the kitchen? Actually, Matt, I want to show everybody this door real quick. Oh, okay. You can bring it back in. Oh crap, and we got to do MSRP. Yes. So, so we'll do MSRP. Or, or towards the door. Yes, let's do the door real quick. Close the door. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Check out this nice window. Very nice. And then we have the blinds. Oh, you know what? Oh, yep. Oh. Down. Love that. And then the window goes to the side for flow. Yes, that's great. Very cool. All right, Andrea. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $206,000. MSRP. Wow. That is expensive. Right now, we have about 15 of these, 14 or 15 in the company, to a sale price of $145,995. That is $60,000 off 
MSRP. Wow. That's phenomenal. That's 30%. But Andrea, my boss has asked me, asked us to do this video. And so we got something special. The unit at the Wixom Virginia store bing, is $136,995, which is the cheapest class, which is the cheapest Winnebago bolts in the country. Listen, folks, you cannot and will not get a better price than that. But I mean, we'll, we'll do a little bit better. Um, but and here's how you do it. Okay. So down in the description below, uh, there's a link to General RV. Click that or just go to generalrv.com. Go to the bolt page. Once you see it, click get lowest. You got to find the one in Michigan that's at the 136995. Click get lowest price and make sure when somebody reaches out to you, one of our class. So we have class B specialists because it's kind of like a real technical thing. When uh, one of the class B specialists reaches out to you, make sure you solve the review on Matt's RV reviews and we're going to get you an even better price than that. And it's super exciting. Or, or there's a plan B. Andre, tell everybody plan B. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get an official Matt's RV review sticker, bing. But honestly, for a class B motorhome, uh, you're gonna be better talk to the class B expert because they know all this stuff off the top of their head. Andrea, let's continue the video. All right, you guys, I'm so excited. Check out this kitchen. Yep. I'm gonna start here with the cabinet. Very I nice. I love how Winnebago has this European look. Uh-huh. And it also locks into place. Well, something that I like, it's not that high gloss. You know, it's kind of like matted. Right. I do like that. Where's the lights? Where's the lights? Right there. Oh, okay. All right, here. And then you have the, the blinds here with the window, which I really like a lot. Yep. Here's a place if you wanted to put some spices and or... you can move that around yep, as well. Yeah, you can put that wherever you want. And as you can see, it locks. Solid surface countertop. Love that. Cute little sink. Very nice sink. Nice modern sink. And here is the little refrigerator. Thank you. You check that out. Yep. Three-way fridge. You do have a nope. little freezer. Yep. This is cute how it has that design, isn't it? Yep. Very I love nice. that with the cabinetry. I, so. Yeah, I love the feature here. When you put it back in and then you... And then it locks into yep, place. That's awesome. And then over here we have another cabinet. Very nice. Yes. You do have a one burner induction cooktop. Uh-huh. And look, they give you a convection microwave. Awesome. That I, is awesome. I love how it's convection. We have a nice drawer. Yep. Again, Winnebago does a fantastic job on their cabinets quality and appearance very aesthetic to the eyes yep okay i'm going to move over this way yep we got your tv you're in your living room be bedroom dining room <laughs> you can see here you have your electrical outlet cable yep. usb and you have a uh, another cubby over here yep for a little bit more storage nice little tv here that will swing out swing <laughs> for the uh driver's seats area yes or for over here. You can see you have a sound bar here. Very oh, nice. Oh, JBL. Yeah. That's JBL. Speaker. JBL. <laughs> no close-ups. All right, Matt, I'm going to let you take over. Okay, we got some more lights. So now we're, we're per se in the bedroom, okay? Got lights all around. Cabinetry above, okay? You got your little nook here that you can move around. And then this is nice. And then it folds up out of the way. And then you have two twin beds here. Two twin beds. Oh, uh, I guess I'm supposed to lay this way. And yeah, when I'm sleeping here, so they kind of have this to be like a backer when you're sitting here. Um, but when I'm sleeping, I would take that off. Now, Matt, I think this does actually come out right here. Yep. If you do want to have the bed extended and you want to have a bigger size bed. Yes. You would just pull this out, very simple, and pull the mattress over. And that one would go on this side. No way. And so, I mean. Hang on, hang on, show that. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little hard, but doable. I but, like that. Test yeah, it out so for us. It's kind of like a, a full size, or maybe Indiana size full. It's just a unique size. So, 
let's see if I'm comfortable. Actually, it is pretty comfy. Nice. So, I'm about five. Telephone four. unavailable. I'm five. Nobody four. asked you, Mercedes. <laughs> I'm five, huh? four and a half. Uh huh. So, look, I have plenty of space. What would Very you like? Nice. Please repeat. Mercedes, turn off. What do you want to do? We can't say the M word in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's get this back up. So, very simple. So, we're going to pull this off. Not hard at all. This goes back. And then we are going to push this back in. You got it all by yourself? I got it all by myself. It's actually not heavy. It's not hard. Very, very simple. That's so cool. It is. What a great job. And, and they're then, actually really comfortable. Just show that pantry okay, right there. Okay, so this is like your wardrobe area. It's your wardrobe closet. I like that it has adjustable shelves. Yep. As you can see, your tank heaters are here. Very nice. And you get a drawer there and another drawer on the bottom mat, which is great. So you do have a pretty good size storage in here. Yep. And oh, time for the bathroom. Time for the bathroom. Let's see that door, Matt. Okay, so what kind of doors on this bathroom? So, well, first, wow, look at this storage. Oh. Look at this storage. Oh my goodness. It's completely sealed by the moisture. Oh, no, it's not completely sealed by the moisture. Okay, so here's what you do. It's a closet. Yeah, it's like a little closet. So, what you do is when you take a shower, you have the shower hooks, and then the it goes curtain. all the way over yep. the shower curtain. Yep. And let me tell you guys, the biggest reason why I don't like Class B's is because of the bathroom. You guys know me. I don't like that, but, but with that said, for a class B, this bathroom is absolutely phenomenal and kick butt. You know, I can stand in it. I got plenty of space to move around. There's a door right here. Uh, you got a little sink. Yeah, we can't get it up. There's a little sink right here. Okay, you got, this is where you can put your soaps. That's cute. And- um, Why don't you show the medicine cabinet? There you go. Nice. It has a mirror inside too. Yep. Hey guys, check out the shower head. Yep. Matt, get the, grab the shower head right there. And as you can see, you have a little shelf there for your toiletries. Yeah, trust me, you gotta make a it light. work. But you know what? This is bigger than some of the wet baths I've seen and I like the style of it. Yep. So that shower curtain, when you pull it around, will protect your cabinets. Also, check out the... Shower pan yeah, thing. Yeah, that's very nice. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the toilet test. Course would what? you believe this would you i i am shocked andrea toilet paper holder look i love this because it can get wet yes. so you have a little cover so it doesn't get wet that's out of the way andrea well i cannot believe i'm saying this this is a prime pooping position what? this is the best bathroom i've ever seen in a class b wow this is absolutely insane I Props th to Winnebago. I thought for sure, I thought for sure that it would not have been a prime pooping position. But that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we got to drive it. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll wait for you to put the seats around. Oh, man, I got to do that again. Hang on. You ready? We're gonna drive it. Oop, you can sit down. You can sit down. Now people are gonna. Oops. Sit. 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 Be comfortable. Be, be comfortable. Now people are gonna be asked, Hey Matt, why don't you drive the other motorhomes down the street? Um, listen, they they all drive well. The reason why I want to drive this motorhome is because this has adaptive cruise control, and I want to show you guys what happens when I get out of lane. Also, um. Gosh dang it. Also when I want it to read the speed limit sign so we can see what goes on. All right, you ready? Yeah. Why is it not? Ah, <sighs> oh, there we go. 
Did you feel that? I did. So look, 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 look right there. Oh. I saw it. Yeah, did you see it turn red? Yeah, I don't know if I caught it on the camera, but All I right. definitely Watch felt this. it. Oh, oh the there you go. And so it gets you back in your lane and it's just really cool technology. And then where we're going, okay. That's an excellent safety feature. It, it really is, it's really cool. And so watch this, you ready? So look, look at reverse, right? So look, it, it shows you the future of where you're gonna be based off of my steering wheel. Isn't that cool? That is a Right, awesome. like look, I'm making real, wow. right? So it's showing you my front. Also, watch this, okay? So look, you see that pole right there? Yes. Let's pretend like we can't see it. Okay. okay? You ready? See it? Uh-huh. Wow. That's so cool, ain't it? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Very nice. Man, this is awesome. Great. And as great as it is, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay. First. All right. So first thing I dislike about this motorhome, every time and there might be a way to turn it off, right? Every time you say the word, it picks up and it goes, every time, every time you say the word Mercedes. Oh, <laughs> She's oh making a now out of you, you don't want to do it because she knows. But every time you say it, it will just randomly pop on. You guys heard it during the Mercedes? whole- Mercedes? Wow. <laughs> She's smarter than us. But yeah, you randomly say it or you say something similar to it and then it will pick it up and it just gets kind of annoying. So that's one. Two, Andre, do you have something? I do actually. Oh, I forgot to lock this up. Um, okay, I know there's not much we can probably do about this. The one thing, and it is a class B, you guys, so you gotta remember it's gonna be smaller and you don't have as much space. I wish that, you know, it was bigger than when you just pulled it out. I don't like how it's like this, yeah. then all this, and then right. this. That's what it, I'm saying. It would have been better if it was all just one yes. thing. That way, if it was, like, you know, two people could sleep together. What? No doubt, 100%. No. That's my dislike. So that's two. And then three, what I'm going to say is, oh, we forgot to mention the storage up there. A little bit of storage my, in the cab. My third oh my dislike, <clears throat> my third dislike is it's just a class b right and it's just my opinion i don't like how small and cramped it is you know at, you gotta listen and this is a great motorhome but you gotta move a lot of stuff around and it's phenomenal it's just not for me you know i don't like small fridges i don't like having to turn the seats around to watch tv i don't like laying singly you know i like a bed i like a great big bathroom and everything and and it's just what the product is it's just a small product and that's just it's just my opinion and yeah i feel like a b plus would be a little bit better a lot better but you don't have that stealth look andrea um i think they should have had one more induction cooktop okay i think um you know if you want to cook multiple things at least at least two okay you know perfect at least two well that's three things we don't like about it now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome andrea I'm gonna go first. This shocked me. This is a nice sized shower for a Class B motorhome. It is unfreaking believable. I love it. And the fact that it's a porcelain toilet that's a prime pooping position, I I didn't know before we did the review. And when I sat down, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And I absolutely love that. I agree because most of the time in wet baths, they're so compact, like yeah. you don't want to even be in it. Well, you're taking showers like this. Exactly, but that like is Like this, very I got spacey. space, and it's just nice. It's awesome. So that's one. Two. Okay. I love the Euro style cabinetry. It's very Art Deco. Yes. No. <laughs> no, it's not Art Deco? Oh, no. okay. But I love how it locks into place. You don't got to worry about, 
you know, stuff flying out at you when you're driving. 1000%. This little feature right there is it makes the, all the difference. It makes all the difference. Yes. Yep. Okay, so that's two. And then so three. Here's how I'm going to end this. I love all the bells and whistles here. Primarily the Volta energy system. Nobody in Class B's, nobody in RV's does it better than the Winnebago Volt. Uh, just their management system, the 3600 watt inverter, the 230 watt solar on the roof standard. Listen, so you can get a lot of RVs like this, like a Winnebago Travato. They start at 90,000, but then you can get the KLs and stuff and have it almost come to this level. But this is all standard. This is all, there's, there's no options needed for this motorhome. It's all fully upgraded and I absolutely love that. And the fact that we're running our air conditioning off the batteries is alien technology and it's just awesome. I agree. Well, it's raining outside, so we're gonna stay on the inside, but that's it, that's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962, that's myself. Or check us out on the website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV review sticker, bing! Um, also, there's a contact me page, but again, if you're seriously interested in this RV and you have technical questions or you wanna get the best pricing, again, go to generalrv.com, link down in the description below, click get lowest price. You have to mention that you saw it. One, you gotta click lowest price on the one that's 136.9 or whatever. And you have to mention you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. They'll be able to help you answer all your questions and hopefully you'll be driving away in one of these. Andre, do you have anything you wanna say? Yes! Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Winnebago does read the comments. And you guys, first time we've ever done a Class B, so we appreciate all your comments and feedback. Yes. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are staying safe and you guys are well. Also, if we get a thousand comments, we will do more class B's. Woohoo! Because I, I will admit, I will admit, <laughs> this is pretty awesome. It was fun. It was with fun. It. Yeah. I enjoyed so, it. Thanks so much, Andrea. We'll see, see you, you next time. time.